Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you can see, I look super crazy right now. Super, super crazy. The foundation that I wanted to review today is a Fenty Beauty Foundation. We add YSL. So, I will start with the YSL foundation. Okay, um... Okay, this smells like foundation. But have a bit of fragrance. So, just... Put on my half face and see. Let's see if is it good or not. So just blend it, okay? So the foundation look like really good on my skin on this camera. I don't think it's coverage enough, or maybe I should put some more. I think. So put it some more. Let's see if it covers or not. Okay, uh so to be honest, I use primer right? So if I don't use primer, I think it's a bit dry on my skin. You can see this is my bare skin without the foundation and this is just the skin with the foundation. And also it looks like it cover up my eye bag and my dark circle is cover up so well. Mm. But I don't think it's a really coverage, but it's a medium coverage. And because it's still, I can see my like skin problem here. It's look good. It's look like dairy finish. It's really smooth. And yeah, for your information, uh, they said my shade, I got this like a really high coverage. But let me zoom it. It's not really coverage. I think the coverage is just a semi. It's not really full coverage. It's just a half semi coverage. It's a glowing. I don't know if it's because of the light or what. Because when I see on the mirror, I just look normal though. And I just feel so ugly right now. I'm gonna start to put some foundation of Fenty Beauty on this side. And then I'm gonna blend it. Okay, on the Fenty Beauty side, uh, I think it's a bit lighter than my skin tone but it's look okay because I've been told that this foundation is oxidized so you have to get like one shade or two shade lighter than your skin uh, so far I think the foundation is matte it's not glowy it's really matte coverage is like mm, not really coverage but okay it's like it's like semi coverage but it kind of cover my high pigmentation so but it doesn't look like dry from like YSL did because uh, as I can see on my face here on my nose I, I have like a black head I, I have like a black head and my white head so when I put the YSL foundation I can see like my white hair is like popping up but in the Fenty Beauty foundation I don't see like anything popping out except for the I can see my it's not really coverage but so far it can cover my dark I think from here like dark here it still can cover a bit because I got this lighter shade I think and it's smooth I'm gonna wait like uh, one hour I'm gonna see it's all see that it's really bad or not okay uh, guys so it's already one hour I'm not sure if you guys can see any different from this video but I can definitely see from my mirror and the foundation for YSL is already oxidized but I think this is a, a bit of the oxidized because I already tested on my hand like before after I bought it it's like after three hours it totally become really dark 
but is that it's not changed too dark on my face but it's already oxidized and it got like really my neck skin tone the finishing on this YSL foundation is like patchy I think it's a bit patchy here it doesn't show my wrinkles so my fine line is like okay and for Fenty Beauty I don't know how to react on this foundation I think the foundation is really smooth and dry it's matte so it's not glowing uh, it oxidizes but I'm not sure when it will oxidize but I know this foundation oxidizes so I'm going to test it on both on my Instagram so for the honest right, uh, rating I think I'm going to give this Femty Beauty for 6 over 10 and I will going to evaluate it again after I test it like for 12 hours because I'm not sure about the coverage yet and I'm not sure about the oxidized and about the uh, oily or anything so i'm gonna test out my instagram so anything you want to know about the um further review of this uh, foundation follow my instagram and i will doing it on my ig story but uh, for the ysl foundation i think it's okay uh, because I already wear primer, but I think if I don't wear the primer, it might be really patchy because now it's really patchy. Um, it feel like it feel like dry, but it's not like a good dry. This is a, like a really smooth dry, but this one is like not smooth dry. It's like something came out from my skin. It's like I can feel like my 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 flaky skin and I can feel my I got new pimple what is this oh my god I hate that because I think this is a liquid foundation so I think it might not be suitable for me so I'm gonna test like YSL stick foundation but it's gonna take me a long time because I have to keep my money to pop it. So for now, thank you for watching. And I know this video is like not really have a full information about the foundation. But I'm gonna do it on my Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, like, and if you have any question about the foundation, please left it me a comment and whenever I got a free time and all is free for you so I will reply to comment and thanks for watching I see you on my next video bye